You want to have $200,000 in your account when you retire in 30 years. Your retirement account earns 8% interest. How much do you need to deposit each month to meet your retirement goal? Let's learn. This is an annuity formula, but why? Our account here is a retirement account that's growing, okay? And we're depositing an amount each month or a set amount each time. It can be yearly, but in this case, it's monthly. And over that over time of 30 years, we're not gonna touch the account. We're gonna see how much it's gonna to grow to 200,000 in this case. That's the formula we're dealing with. We're not pulling money out of the account. We're only putting money in at set intervals over a given period of time, and that account grows. All right, so let's get our key spots here. We want to have $200,000 in an account when we retire in 30 years. Our account earns 8% interest, not bad. How much do you need to deposit each month to meet your retirement goal? Well, again, we're dealing with the annuity formula, but what's different about this time is we know our P sub N. Our end goal we're trying to find is a $200,000. What we want to find is how much we have to deposit each month, our D value. So we don't know what that value is yet. Our R value, our interest rate, 8% as a decimal is 0.08. I don't like that. It makes it a little harder to see. I said it, but there we go. Our K, the number of compounding periods, we're depositing it monthly, 12 months in a year. And the number of years, our N value, right, N years here, is our 30 years. And so what we're going to do is write this in our annuity formula, and then we're going to solve for D. So P sub N, first part, is 200,000. Let's make a little break here. 200,000. That's what we want to have. We don't know our deposit amount, D, two parentheses. We have one plus our R value, which is 0 0.08 over our K value, which is a 12. To the exponent power of N times K, N being 30 years, times a K of 12. Minus one, close the last parenthesis. All over R over K, R point. 0, 0.08 over k, which is a 12, okay? This is very easy once you set it up. Let's go, I always tell my students, make sure you write each one of these down here, okay? Fill in what you know from our formula, and then just put a plug and play. It makes me, the teacher, know what you're doing, and you can see what you're doing. You don't make a little mistake here. All right, let's simplify where we can. Well, 200,000, I'll leave as such equals D times one plus point zero eight divided by 12, which is a 0 0.006 repeating here. Why didn't give myself much room in the exponents? Let's rewrite this down a little bit here. It's okay, raise and rego. So 200 equals D, two parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.006, repeating forever, to the power of 30 times 12, 360, minus 1, close parentheses, over that same value, 0 0.08 over 12, this is 0 0.006, repeating. Let me double check that. Two zeros, yep, fantastic. So now we want to simplify where we can. I'm going to multiply that 0.06 to both, to both sides that are repeating over here. Multiply it by 0 0.006. So times that by 200,000. And we get a 13, 3.3 3 repeating. If I get repeating, I like to keep that noted so I can deal with it a little later. Or just not have rounding errors mainly. Then we have D times 1 plus 0 0.006 repeating is just 1.006 repeating. So 1.00, toss a bunch of sixes in there, to the power of 360 is a 
five seven two nine six six we subtract that one we already got rid of that division that's over here so now we subtract one from there minus one not too bad so we have one three 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 point three repeating equals d times a nine point nine three five seven two nine six and uh i guess rounded this was a five seven well calculator told me that what it is all right fantastic could be a six there too calculator rounded it for me in case you're wondering divide that number to both sides to get d by itself so 9.93572 to both sides 9.93572 Take your time, one, three, three, three point three, repeating a bunch, divided by the last answer here, 9.93572.9657, and we get a 134.1958144 for our D value. But if I'm gonna rewrite this here, D first, D equals rounded, two decimal places, 134.1958144. Two decimal places of cents. Five makes a nine to a tw zero, 20, so 19 is a 20. All right, and there we go. We have $134.20 is the amount we have to deposit every month to hit our retirement goal of $200,000 in our account in 30 years. All right, so better start investing. <laughs> I hope you learned something here on the annuity formula and solving for the deposit amount. And as always, thanks for watching.